Welcome to Tablet Guide. Today we're going to be looking at the UG U1600 pen display. I hope I pronounced that correctly. UG, Uggy. Let's just say UG. This is a 15.4 inch drawing tablet. It's full HD and is fully laminated, so there shouldn't be a gap between the pen and what you see on the screen whilst you're working. In the box is the drawing monitor, a battery free pen, 10 replacement nibs, a nib extractor, an extension cord, a 3 in 1 L shaped USB C cable, a power adapter, various plugs, a quick guide, a guarantee card, a cleaning cloth, and a drawing glove. Setting up is quite simple. The USB C L shaped plug goes into the top of the screen. Next, plug in the HDMI and USB cables into your device. Before you plug in the cables, don't forget to head over to UG's website first to install the latest set of drivers. Now the best bit, the peeling off of the protective film. Yeah, that felt nice. The pen feels a bit cheap and plasticky, but it's very thin and very light, and does the job okay. The pen is possibly one of the slimmest I've seen provided with these devices, and does appear to be a bit cheap and plasticky. It's very light, has two buttons and an eraser on the top. It's battery free, and just like every other pen on the market today, supports 8192 levels of pen pressure and 60 degrees of tilt. That said, the pen performed perfectly and felt quite nice to hold and use. The button functionality can be changed in the software, but by default comes with the usual right click and pen eraser options. This is actually the first pen I've used that comes with an eraser built on the top of the pen. It's quite amusing to keep rotating it round and rubbing out my lines on the screen. Just like a traditional pencil. Let's hope I don't chew it off. Here's some more technical details about the display itself. The colours on the screen look perfectly fine out of the box. I did adjust the brightness slightly before use for the first time. Here's some more technical details about the pen. The driver software has all the usual properties that can be changed or updated. You can map the tablet to any screen if you have a multi-monitor setup. You can rotate the display round in increments of 90, 180 and 270 degrees. Pen pressure can be adjusted by moving the dots around in the pressure settings box or by using the hardness slider, but there isn't a box of scribbling and tests like other brand software. Any problems or conflicts you may come across can normally be fixed by ticking or unticking the Windows Ink box. Pen pressure worked perfectly as you'd expect, the harder you press, the thicker the line and vice versa. 16 inch is a nice size to work with at a 1920 by 1080 resolution. The drawing experience of the pen and tablet was just as good as any other display tablet I've looked at. I wouldn't have any hesitation using this on a day to day basis as my main device. Lines and strokes tapered off nicely and there was no real lag. It's light enough to carry in a small bag from client to client or office to office. One thing to note, or actually two things, is that this doesn't come with a stand or a pen holder. 
it lays perfectly flat on the desktop whilst you draw on it. This wasn't an issue for me, but maybe a deal breaker for others. You can actually order a separate stand from UG, or any other display company for that matter, but I couldn't see a pen holder for sale. A quick trip to Amazon or eBay should solve your problem. You wouldn't want to drop this pen on the floor too much. UG's marketing for this device seems to be aimed at beginners or the younger 18 to 20 year old market, which of course is perfectly fine, but it does hold its own against other devices which are targeted for both amateurs and professionals. This is my first time actually using and reviewing a UG product and I have to say I was quite impressed. I look forward to seeing what else they come out with. The build quality of the screen is actually very good. On the top left is the power button and a small LED. Next to that is a rocker type switch which adjusts the brightness levels. There's also a hole for a lanyard to secure the device to your desk. In the middle are two USB-C ports. The colour gamut of this device is 90% NTSC, 127% sRGB and 94% Adobe RGB. This device is compatible with Windows 7 or later, Mac OS X 10.10 .10 or later and Chrome OS 88 or later. This device also works with Android devices, so you can plug in your compatible phone or tablet and draw away to your heart's content. Overall, I found this tablet to be a little marvel. See what I did there? Well, that just about wraps up this review. Don't forget to comment below, like, subscribe, and tell everyone you know about this channel. See you next time.